Okay, so yesterday is my normal chest day Tuesday, so I'm almost doing this to try to make up for the fact that yesterday I w only did like a 15 minute episode because where I live, uh, the power went out and the, my internet was out, so I still managed to do a stream of it, but it was only like on my mobile hotspot, so that's a new low, playing like a mobile caliber game in terms of chess on a mobile hotspot, but it lasted only about 10-15 minutes, so I played like one game of the next variant after we had lost our longest streak so far of the permadeath variant gauntlet which was the uh what do you call it mark rober can you defeat the former nasa engineer it's always interesting to see what rating they put these people at he's at 1200 okay um what do you call it i had done a nine game win streak with black ladder chess and of course this one is going to be i already forgot what it was caught in a snag like you can't promote and stuff but no i would say oh i'm doing this just to make up for yesterday's episode because normally i only my only official chess day on my schedule is Tuesday, but I've been kind of doing this anyway, like every whenever I get a chance on random days outside of that, just like if I have time, I'll just do a session of chess just because one of two reasons. One is that I've been enjoying these variants so much, and number two is even before I was doing these variants, I was just struggling to get to 1700 or trying to do it. So it's one of two things. Either I'm trying to actually ladder and increase my rating, so I'm frustrated and not enjoying it, but I'm trying to progress, Right, that's my with chess series, and then when I'm on here, I'm trying to actually enjoy the variants themselves, which unfortunately we've gone through most of them already. Like, you know, I don't know how many there are left. I kind of did it alphabetically, but some of them aren't included in that, so we're kind of in the overtime phase. Caught in a snag. It doesn't even explain it. Like, just fucking custom position, the stalemate player wins, no promotion. I don't really understand. The biggest two pieces that are of confusion here is the caterpillar and the whatever this is that you want to call it. You can call this the horse, I guess, since I always call, well, I guess there only is the horse. I mean, I call the normal horse the horse, right? The knight the horse, but whatever. This could be really the knight where that's like part of his armor or something. And so the, the horse is itself a knight instead of a knight riding on a horse is the implication. Obviously, we know the advisor goes left and right. So in other words, his first move is force, right? Because he can only go that way. So that's the one piece that we've seen in Chaturanga. This thing I've seen in only a few variants, kind of randomly. It can move everywhere but diagonal, basically one square. And then this thing can move like a king or a knight, which is technically not even your king. That's where that can kind of get confusing, right? This is the royal symbol is always to indicate that that's like the losing condition. And then... And that's the same thing like the every direction besides it's like orthogonally or something is what it's called right there's some weird term to describe it actually let's look up Come from <clears throat> right angle right so it moves only in a right angle this thing moves even more incomprehensibly than the knight we need andrea botes to ask magnus how does the weird fucking haired knight move because it, it moves like a regular knight, except it can't jump over pieces, except it kind of can sometimes, because it moves like a piece from Zhang Ji, which is Chinese chess. So, like, if this is here, it'll move, like, through it, like, at a weird angle, but then sometimes it won't, so it, I've never been able to figure out exactly how it works. And I don't like to really take advice or look stuff up, but probably nobody fucking understands it, so I don't want to lose because of that, but... The biggest confusion is also the caterpillar itself, which I don't remember. It can jump over a piece, so like if there was something here, it could capture it, but it can also move like left to right or something. It should really let you mess around with this when you're here. Like, let me just see. I guess you can like edit position and try to do it, but. And we'll maybe once this is over, I'll make my own, but I should only do that like for one. Otherwise, I'll get carried away and do it forever. Right? It's one of those things like using mods in a game. That's the whole both the strength and the minus of variants. Variants are so much better than regular chess, not inherently in terms of one of them, but in terms of the sheer variety because of the simple fact that, you know, there's an infinite number, so who's to say? You could take anything and just, you know, iterate upon it forever, right? So it's just a net positive, and so therefore you get to, yeah, see, it gets to go left or right or diagonal and jump, or it can even go straight, apparently. <sighs> I don't get it though. If it could, then it should be able to capture that, or maybe it can only cat. I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But that in itself is kind of a bad move because I don't know if I could have covered that adequately. He's just kind of moving robotically though. 
this at least moves like a regular knight. You can't even promote, so I don't understand this, but... <clears throat> That's obviously the benefit <clears throat> of it moving like a king. And so now, th see, this can't move. <clears throat> okay, so there's the little straight shooter. I'm not saying you couldn't mate with this, but I don't understand. There's no point system even perceptibly, so... What if you just, uh, like, for example, you should be able to take that. I don't understand how this piece works. Maybe it just can't capture, can't put itself in harm's way and something, but it makes it seem like when you click it in between, too, like, oh, I should be able to jump a piece, at least as the principle behind it. But this is still adequately covered, so we got to figure out. If you go to here, I'm not exactly sure what happens. So you can go to there, and I can't cut. Okay, so I'm already kind of fucked because... You, he's not even paying attention though to what I'm doing. He's playing like a bot. See, like, how did he move that? How did he move that? It's not supposed to be able to jump over pieces, but it clearly did. Unless you want to say it shimmy diagonally, which is not what you'd be thinking, right? How the fuck does this movement pattern make sense? Because you look in this situation, yeah, like, what the fuck is that? It's not supposed to jump. That's why it can't go there or something, but whatever. Okay, so that was obviously a mistake on their part. We could move here, which I really don't understand, but okay, so now you man, some of these pieces make no fucking sense. Like now you can do it when you couldn't do it before, but like why is that? Because now you're not at risk of getting captured. You can't like put yourself in check, but a lot of these variants will break that rule. Like there are no checks even, so you can just capture the king. So there's no limit on so you could just move it into harm's way if you wanted. Yeah, the advisors are always in a weird spot here at the beginning. I already made a couple mistakes, but we can slip through at that angle, but it can't do... I really don't know. Like, how does this make sense? The whole principle is, I guess, it's not supposed to jump pieces. It's supposed to move like a knight, but it's it has to like have some other perceivable path to get there. <clears throat> or yeah, a lot of these I've won just because people resign super early, even if it doesn't seem like I'm winning by that much. So it could be that everybody's just lag switching out or it could be that they maybe just get tired of how long i take but i mean that's i'm doing a 10 minute game on purpose you can actually try to <clears throat> flesh out the variant a little bit <clears throat> so yeah this is a little active it's very hard to activate these knights once you do they might be pretty good so it it kind of goes against the stereotype the knights are good in closed positions these kind of knights would be better in open positions not because not that they're better than a bishop, but that they're better <clears throat> than, like, because they're limited. If it's a closed position, truly, then they won't even be able to move, or it'll be very limited. And so even here, I don't think you can really do that, but let's see. <clears throat> so it makes them even worse than knights, if you can believe that. So they're only a step above the worst piece ever, which is the fucking elephant in Chaturanga. <clears throat> He's taking a long time. He blundered the little general knight, which is actually arguably the best piece on the whole board because these things suck. These things are okay. These things are okay. But if you were to give a relative piece value, these are probably worth zero or whatever, like one, one. This is worth like one or two, maybe one or two. So they're all kind of low, right? The knight would at least be worth three or maybe more, the knight king thing. And then this thing is obviously your king, so it's hard to even measure how much it'd be worth. But see, you shouldn't be able to move there because you have to jump the piece. And I thought you have to go like right after the jump. So sometimes when you click stuff in the middle like this, it bugs out to the extent that, you know, it's not actually supposed to move like that, but it just shows it anyway. So I lost one of the variants, like the mini forest or something that involved this piece. And the reason why I lost it is because I didn't know that it could move sideways. So I got myself mated or killed by it, right? Because my king is there and I'm like, oh, it can only move diagonal, so I'm safe. But it could actually randomly just move sideways, which I'd never seen that or it never told you that, even in the tooltip and stuff. Well, that's almost unfair because <clears throat> it's one thing like, oh, you don't know what you're doing or you don't know how to play it exactly. But I don't even know how the pieces fucking work or move. And in this case, I also don't know how. Like, it's indicating that, oh, you could go to either of those because you're jumping this, but that's not really how it works. In fact, based on this, it would make it seem like you can capture your own pieces, too. <clears throat> the only player wins, so I don't understand what your alternative is. Like, am I supposed to mate with this board, or what am I supposed to do? Like, how are you really going to mate with this shit? 
Or like you want to get stalemated, but you re I really wouldn't want to. I guess we'll just win by resignation, but I mean, if you were to play it out, none of these pieces are really good at mating. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? This thing would only attack in front, you know, like, and the knights themselves are inherently bad at mating. So what am I supposed to do, mate you with the fucking cricket, or I'm supposed to get myself stalemated? <clears throat> it wouldn't be that easy to stalemate, though, either, because you can all, well, maybe it would be, because these things have such an erratic, weird movement pattern anyway. Yeah, I like the idea of combining some of these variants, or I like the idea of sort of, I could pick like my favorite two and combine them for like one final thing. Like Chaturanga plus, I don't know what even one of my other favorites would be. Chaturanga plus something else, maybe just like a 10 by 10 board or some shit like that. But yeah, I could, I could do something like that, or I could try to create my own. Right, once we run out of these, which I think I am pretty close to running out. Even though it seems like, oh, I'm only at C in alphabetical order sense, it's really not because you have a case of, uh, I don't know, like I already did the A to Z and then I went back and did it because there are some that I just somehow missed because they don't appear on the proper list. So you have to kind of <clears throat> search for them a little bit. Now, I only won one game. So the fact that I'm 1584 is weird. It's just provisional. And now when I go back to the chess, it'll be provisional too. And the reason why is because uh, the reason why is because of the simple fact that I haven't played in a while, which maybe I've done that by design. So now if I win a couple games in a row, it'll get, it's still not showing up as provisional. That's so weird. Like how long does it take? I'm almost doing it on purpose so I can cheese them, right? Where you can basically say, but whatever, it's just my celebration and break from playing it because I was, you know, forgetting 17, but this has maybe gone on longer than I thought too. But then again, it, it is supposed to go on for a while, but mainly because you're supposed to go on good streaks, not because you're, whatever, just because there's so many. So I was even going to say, oh, we could try like another site for variants too, but I won't even bother because there have been a good amount on here. This actually encapsulates what I asked for in other multiplayer games or even in card games and stuff like let me host my random own lobby match if I want and let other people join like with my own rule set like in a card game oh I only want you to use five cost cards in your deck and they all have to be minions or they all have to be spells and you might be like well that's stupid nobody's gonna want to play that but then they don't have to it was the same thing here I can play Chaturanga with fog of war and checkers pieces and all these kind of things combined and a grasshopper too and like just make your own and nobody has to play it if they don't want to, but at least give yourself the option to do it. Right, to host a match, and then maybe somebody will do it just to try. And then they'll assume like, oh, somehow you know something they don't, or they're an expert or something, but you're actually not because, you know, you might just be doing it on a whim. I've never played like that before either. Or like, how or when or with who would I have played it like that? Maybe just I could have played against the bot or something, but... Which wouldn't know really what the hell is going on either. So like there's no proper analysis for a lot of these type of games or whatever, but just remember you can always metagame these as much as you could the regular game, which is what trivializes the whole existence of regular standard chess. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's the obsession and fixation on it. Like what makes that arbitrarily better than older version of chess, like before whatever, before N Pizan or double pushing the pawn, or what makes it better than any other variant or something you know, like Shogi or Go, like why fixate on just the one version of the game when there's so many different things you can do? They'll say like, oh, because it's so good and it's remained unchanged for so long and it's perfect, blah, 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 but it's actually not. And the reason why is because it's even changed within the last at least several hundred years, right? The end Pizan mechanic was added. Other things were, were changed around a little bit, like... um you know, double pushing and pizant. I'm not saying whether that's a good or bad change, but it's just, you know what I mean? Like it's sort of arbitrary. Now you're going to start to see the knight get nerfed or something because, or I mean buffed because it's so shitty. Or the bad way to interpret that would be if they nerfed the bishop, but that doesn't make sense either. Because at least the bishop works in a logical, intuitive sense, right? Whereas the knight obviously does not. The knight is a perfect example of like, ex post facto justification fallacy where people will defend it but they won't even good players and stuff they won't know why or how to defend it it's like it moves in a random arbitrary l shape 
So like, why not move like that? Or why not move like an X shape or some weird other, you know, one square extra? It's totally random. It's totally arbitrary. There's no logic or rhyme or reason. The only thing I could ever come up with is it's switching color from one square to the other, right? Even then though, there are other ways that it could potentially do that, like, but that's maybe the most logical thing. And of course, being able to jump over stuff is sort of novel. But my point is that people will defend it because that's the way it works. But nobody would be sitting there and saying, oh yeah, we need a piece that moves in a random fucking L shape. Like nobody is saying that, nobody is thinking that. Whereas the bishop is a clear diagonal, the rook is a clear, you know, horizontal vertical line. It's very clear, it makes logical sense, right? Everything else kind of combines that, like the queen. So there is something very disturbing about it because you'll see that it's objectively not even just flawed, but like random and arbitrary. But yeah, people will just blindly defend it because, oh, that's just the way it is. So we, we accept it as fact or as unquestionable. So you see that a lot in society. Like people accept that things are the way they are because that's the way they should be is the impression. But maybe they're just the way they are because nobody thought about it that deeply or for some flawed other reason. <sighs> okay. Now you might think, oh, you'd be mad that he did that. But I'm really not because... You know, a win is a win if you want to do that. It might have, you know, it might have taken me that long anyway. I don't want to keep showing this shit, but... but yeah, just stay on the feedback page forever. So now it'll trick the thing by not showing that. But I guess it's effectively an ad by Google. An ad feedback thing telling me it's from Google, which effectively acts as an ad for Google. So generally I've been pretty happy with the matchmaking though because... Well, it's not really matchmaking, but it's just you host a game in the lobby and then people join and whatever. So generally people will do that. But I guess if I was a bigger streamer, I could always have people to play against like viewers and stuff. But then I'd have to be confident that some, I mean, this is the kind of thing like it'd be hard to even cheat because there might not be any engine that really does this, but. <clears throat> so then the general thing moves like a regular knight. You have to remember that. See, now he's 1638, but that could be not just in this mode, but in other, whatever, other criteria too. Do you want to go like, I want to, let me try to move the advisors a little bit <clears throat> at the beginning, actually. So we'll bring out both advisors. I can't figure out how to move the other stupid ass knights, but if you move the other ones, then it puts you off to a good start, I suppose. They would go here and it would be covered. So that I don't really want to allow, but I would take, they would take, I would, wait. That in itself is bad, isn't it? I'm already down like a pawn. Whoops. Well, that's not what I meant to do at all. You'll get in certain situations in these games sometimes where with all these other pieces where you just get like hard lock stuck too. Like there'll be something that they move and I just can't do anything about it basically. Right, like you'll just actually be trapped. So this you can go to here and you'll be setting up for a trade but it's not actually covered. So you go to here, you could like... It would be covered adequately. This is even covered, let me think. Now you should be able to capture that. And I don't know why you can't because that's generally the movement pattern. Maybe it's just not allowed to capture period, which kind of doesn't make sense. But I think they're already up a pawn, which is a little bit weird. Or maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just imagining. It's hard sometimes to see that because they're so narrow. You want to put this here just so it's active. The certain trades you just don't want. So, for example, this thing, you wouldn't want to trade for anything aside from one of those, assuming how the fucking thing would even work. So let me not do it this time, and then I'll basically decide to... Um... They would take, I would still take. They would take, I could still take with the thing. With the uh, knight. Now I'm attacking that, but I don't necessarily want to attack it. And the reason why is because I wouldn't want to do that trade. And so it raises the question like, oh, I could go here or no, I can't. I don't understand how this thing works. I'll be honest with you sometimes like. It can jump and it can capture that, but it can't jump this and capture that. And I cannot explain such a phenomenon. 
So this this thing apparently can move even through there, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So let's go ahead. We'll try to bust this open. They take, I take. Got to watch out for some weird thing that creeps through, like some move. Like they'll randomly be able to do that, and I won't be able to explain how, but they'll just do it. Watch. And it makes it seem like that. Yeah, let me pre-move taking that. I just don't get it. You can always move like only, I don't know, I don't know. You don't want to do that. Honestly, this isn't such a great piece that you would care that much about it either, but... I'll go back, I guess. He's totally going to do it too. Like, I don't know how that piece moves, but I better just watch out. If you move this, I can take... Okay, okay, dude. How the fuck does it move, man? So it, it has to... I don't know. I can't even explain it. Like, there are inconsistencies that you see even now. There could be something good, like... You know, you could be exposing yourself a little bit. I don't know. I, I just genuinely lose to this more than anything. Like, I just can't figure out how some of these pieces work. It makes no sense. Sometimes it can capture, sometimes it can't. Sometimes it jumps, sometimes it jumps farther. I don't get it. I obviously lose because of that. So now you would be capturing this, even though it's not covered. It doesn't matter, but it does matter because you'll take maybe this thing. Because it's not actually covered. And I know it's not covered, but... You go ahead, take that, just kill me with your fucking caterpillar, stupid thing. You go there, which is itself weird. That thing, now at least you shouldn't be able to jump anything, but you, you can maybe jump that. <clears throat> or now, shouldn't I, be able, shouldn't I be able to do the same exact attack pattern that you're doing to me back? And the answer is, if the game made any fucking sense, you could, but it just doesn't. <clears throat> like, I don't get what even the win condition for this shit is. How do you even win this if you can go like to there again? Just remember, none of my shit is actually covered because this isn't even doing anything. So it's like that. If this moves, I'd be in check, I guess, which is weird that it would even let you do it then. Or maybe for some inexplicable reason now it doesn't work there. So if you go here, he'll just take, I don't know what's happening. You can't even promote, so I don't really get it, but... Let's try to use these things to at least make a little bit of sense. Or no, that's gonna get me in trouble, though. So the value of getting these to be actually useful the other nights is definitely a big thing. I wish I understood how this worked, though, because I really just don't. You would jump... I, I can look at my own every single turn, but... You can only maybe jump... Like, even here, it doesn't make sense, does it? Like, I can jump my own piece here and go there. I can't jump this one and go there, though. Why? Because I'm going to get taken or for some other reason. Because it's not that, like, oh, you can't capture, but you can capture because... Um, if, for example, this is one of those tough spots where you just mathematically... This is even what I was talking about. You just mathematically cannot cover it. It's just impossible. You just cannot do it. You'll take there and check my dumb ass and actually make me. Okay, good, good enough, dude. Good enough. Like, I just cannot. I still don't know. Even after whether, you know, winning a game, losing a game, I cannot even explain how the pieces move. So that they should give you a little better feedback. Like, I don't get it. Even now, I don't get it. And I've seen it in another mode, too. Like, for example, why can't you... That can't move anywhere. I feel like, why can't you do it here? I guess it just is protecting you against... If they can take back, you'd obviously be in check, so it makes sense, but... But, like, why now? Why now? For example, why can't you... Why can't you do it here, then? What is the difference between this move and the next move? You're not going to get taken if you go here. Right? Nothing can take you back. But now because it's one square closer, now you can take it. So I really... 
just can't figure it out. I mean, I wish they would just explain it a little better, but, or at all. Some of them will, but, and I've seen them in other ones, like I said, but, in fact, I lost for another reason to that one, because it could move, like, sideways, which I didn't know that the previous time. Now, obviously, I knew it, but, so you jump, you have to jump the piece and hit only right next to it, I guess. Like, for example, I could go here. Let me actually try to understand. So, like, you go here and you could take, and you can't take back. So, for example, let me test that, actually. This is the best way to do it, I guess. So, you get to... Uh, See, now you can't do it. And so the only logical explanation of why you can't do it is because of the simple fact that you would get taken. So that at least makes sense that you can't give away your king. But even beyond that, so you have to jump it and hit the piece immediately after, I guess, is the way that it works. You could only hit the piece immediately after the one that you jumped to, I guess. But it feels like sometimes... So, like, here you can't take that. But it... If there was something here, then you could do it, for example, right? So if we look at it like, it shows that every time, but let me see, you still can't do it. So now if I go to here, then you will be able to do it. Right, so at least that makes sense. You have to not let yourself get captured, which that part at least makes a little more sense. That one ended a little bit too unceremoniously too quickly. So now we'll go to just by putting the letter A. And so I'll have to go through A through Z here too. Not that it's showing only things that start with A, but it's showing stuff that maybe I haven't done so far. So counter turn. Understand courier chest we did. Crazy cavalier. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it, but how would I even verify with some of these whether I've done them or not? Because even going in the archive isn't going to go that far back. Like... Will it show me Chaturanga now? Only the most recent one? Or... Or maybe it will. Maybe it will. Like if you show... Uh, I remember at least seeing that one before. Crazy Cavalier. Crazy House. Let me see, like, oh, this will go all the way back. This is actually pretty good the way it keeps track. I like that. Or wait, what? Uh, all time, though. It's supposed to be... What? Um... No, it's obviously not showing all of them. Right, it couldn't be. Fuck's sake, like, what was the first one ever that I did? If you just go like back to even here, it would be like, okay, Amazon jungle fight. Will that show up? <clears throat> Amazon jungle. So I played the one game I lost. Maybe that one had the cricket too. And maybe that's what, no, I don't think I lost that one because of that. <clears throat> well, let me try to see what else do we have here? <sighs> so we certainly haven't played this. So I don't even know what it is. Before the game starts, the player set up their pieces and pawns. Do not try to move the pieces in starting position until the setup is complete. Do not try to move the pieces in the starting position until the setup stage is complete. Uh, Stalemate and checkmate are both wins <clears throat> in this variant. 28 to 99 check. I don't know what that means. Like if you If you are 30 plus... X over them, or I don't fucking know. The stalemate of player wins, counter turn, set up blitz. I could find, I don't care about that. What kind of a position even is this? I don't get it. Sometimes what it shows you here is not at all accurate. So it's saying, don't try to move until the setup is over. We've played setup ones before where it doesn't really say that. You know, one thing I've been watching lately is a lot of these random horror shorts and stuff on YouTube. Let's see if there's one to do with chess, like, uh, as if chess can already be scarier, like, analog horror chess. Why would that be a thing? I don't know, but what is Chess Kids Archive? Early 2000s, a Flash game made for all audiences grace the internet. 
Uh, the first analog horror series. If it's only from two years ago, I doubt it. Th there is how a chess horror set would look like. This is how a chess horror set would look like. Petrifying rook. That looks kind of cool, I guess. But what does that? Knight. What does that have to do with a rook? Immovable pawn. This is. Eh, that's not really too impressive, but. What is this thing? Chess Kids Archive. What the hell is that? What is Chess Kids? In the early 2005 game made for all audiences, the game being known as chess.com. Or it must just be made up sort of. <clears throat> fan fiction. It's not actually a real thing. You would think this would be a pretty big missed opportunity for uh I should be more careful. I should look it up first. Chess.com. What the fuck is it though? Also known as Chess Kids was an educational website created in 2000 that features games music. Website is known for its interactive and colorful characters. And this could all be just setting up for like a creepy pasta type of thing, and it's actually offline. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one. But no, that that's a really specific, unique genre, like uh or you know, let's actually I haven't listened to music in a while, but like back room or no, what is it called? Like something not really back rooms, but it's like inspired by that, like some Nostalgia core or something. It has the word core in it. Ah, uh, what the hell is it called? Core core, of course. Okay, let's just do uh, put the king down. I don't know how this works, obviously, but there was some other term for it. You do the setup part first. I'm not going to pretend like I really know what's going on, but just put them like this, sort of symmetrical. You have four points left. So, wait, why? Wait, why is my queen there, but they don't get to do anything? So now you can put it like this, so you're auto attacking the queen. I guess like, I gotta have no choice but to do that, otherwise, they could just take. <clears throat> so now you could take. Oh, shit. Look at the bad karma that we got. What the fuck is this? What first of all, what is this? Why does white start in such a vastly different position than what they do? Um so now it's actually my move, which I'm not too happy about. We could do this and then if they took there then I could move this and save it. So they have to at least choose. Like, right, which one they want to go for, or way. Okay, okay, dude, okay. Okay, fine, fine. I love how I just always start off like that. Like, I'm already lost, basically. Or I don't know how the fuck this stuff even makes sense, but... It seems like white's had a major advantage just with the pawns and everything. So you have to... I, I am so confused. The best I sometimes do is like if I get it to resemble a normal game of chess as much as possible. Not that I'm even that good at normal games of chess, but whatever. So we're, we're already at a major material disadvantage though because clearly there's no promotion. Otherwise you would have been able to do that. Um, there may be some element here that I'm missing, but I don't know what it is, so... Um, oh, I'm not paying attention to the rook, actually. You can give a check with the bishop. I, I pretty much deserve to lose this one, but it's amazing how drastic it can be that quickly. Right, like the game just fucking started, and okay, at least this is good, I guess. What other win condition is there that I'm not getting? There is no promotion, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe just somehow these ones aren't meant to promote, but... You don't really want him to, or you can do like that. You don't really want him to actually trade 
And the reason why you don't want to trade is because it would allow you to uh, have so little left. Like, still materially, it seems fine. But it seems like somehow I'm allowed to... Okay, I don't know what the fuck I do sometimes, but... I hate that element, that sometimes it just feels like I'm not even trying, which is certainly not an excuse, it's just like a confusion. Like, I just sort of get tilted by just the basic way of how something works. Um... You could try to do that, it probably benefits them, though, to, uh... To do this, and the reason why is because you get to... Um, like, how would I even do that? I don't get it. How would I take that to be able to check? I'd have to sack a piece to open it and then start giving checks. So that's my win condition, but what is their win condition then? I don't get it. Now, I can't move that pawn, but I can try to move this one, and so at least that simplifies things. Now, I can try to promote this into a queen, assuming that that's even something you can do. I don't think it said that there's no promotion. But it normally will say, you know, pawns promote on such an... Okay, okay, dude. There's no check counter for me, so that means... Yeah, it seems like you have white privilege in this game. Like, you... Everything is to do with them. I don't get what my thing is. Oh, this is getting fucking annoying, dude. Okay, so now you're gonna block there, and then I'll just start moving something else. I don't understand, man. What is the point? Like, okay, you're doing that, but so what? Now at least you can give a check, and in fact, this in itself might be a mate-esque position, which would force me to actually take, but now there's going to turn out to be no promotion, and so therefore you get to... Uh, okay. I could easily promote, because just whatever number of pawns you start with would be sufficient. Now I can just spam check like a degenerate clown that I am. And the act of doing that would allow me to... Even if you block, you know, I, I should just be able to end it right now. I can just do whatever I want. If you just, uh... Well, that was probably the worst possible place to move to, though. But no, they don't seem to even have a check counter. And so therefore you get to... Let, let me see. Black resigned. I, I'm just missing something about even what the win condition is. Stalemate and checkmate are both wins. 28 to 99 checks. Set up 20, stalemate to player wins. Custom position. And we don't even get to see whether something promotes or not. So I'm just generally baffled. Oh, I get it. So white starts with a preset board, mostly, and the, and the black starts with a empty board, but basically with the same amount of potential material, I guess. But how did they not have that much then? What did they do? They put down a queen and they put down a rook. You see, like, I put down two things here, like a bishop and a knight or something. But then I, no, I didn't put down the knight because you already have it. But then I lost both of these at the beginning. But then somehow I still won. So it just seems like white is in a much better position. I don't really understand. Like, yes, oh no, I only start with five points, whereas they start with 19 to spend. But I also have all these fucking pawns that they don't. Right? So how is that fair? Like, could they mathematically recreate the position I have with what they have? Nine goes to the queen. No, they have nothing. That's so unfair. This is like a rigged fucking thing. Um, they put down nine and they put down five. So now they only have four left. So there's no way that they can match the number of pawns and the knight and whatever five points I have here. So I'll end up going on a win streak and this is white just because it's so unfair. But now I'm black. I don't get what the fuck is going on. It's their turn, so this is the most lopsided, weird fucking one ever. So we'll go here just attacking the stupid ass knight. They're covering the stupid ass thing there. 
Don't they have to put down the king though? I mean, what's this, dude? So I have plenty of shit to put down. In fact, in particular, I should put, uh... Like, maybe a bishop of each color, but maybe not. You can put it there, you put the king into there, and therefore you get to put out two little dinky things here. You can start off by already trapping the knight, because it's just a shitty piece, and so you should already kind of know that. Um... I don't know, I guess you still can't, but maybe not. Like, you go there, and then you get to- <laughs> this is hilarious. You go there, and then you go there. Okay, so we take here. Already lost the fucking knight. Can't take there. You could take here, and then you can't take back. Because of the simple fact that you have, uh... The king sort of boxed into there, so that could be trouble for you, too. You got the thing moving there, then we can go, like, to here... And then we go here, then we sack it, then if he takes, then I take. That's just a free pawn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't get fully what the win condition for either one is, besides the 99 check thing, but that's only for white. You can try to win it just in a normal position, like on the board. So if I go here, I don't know what else you can really do, though, because this is pretty strong. You just started off in a pretty fucked up position, but you put your king in too much of a claustrophobic thing. You could put it anywhere that you want. You know, that's kind of a weird spot. That is actually kind of fucked up, though. I mean, clearly, when I'm complaining about how good white is, then I win as black, too. You gotta give me some credit, but... I won't pretend like I understand remotely what's even happening in the game. So, you could move it, actually, though. That's the thing. It's not like that big of a deal. Right? You could literally just move it. It's not actually as good of a position as what I would think. Sometimes these are just bad players, but it doesn't make sense because, you know, everybody's kind of bad and just a beginner because you don't know what that means. I don't know what the... Th checking a king 28... Oh, so I would have won. Well, why do you say 28 to 99, though? What does that mean? What does any of this shit mean, dude? So that's the advantage basically the black has is that you're basically able to uh so you can't leave it like that but you could always move it so i don't see what the big deal is or you could literally just go like that why is that a problem you should just win because of this alone i don't give a shit right like look, look at that bro but you didn't have to let that happen unless I'm missing something. What's the deal with the other shit? Right, what's the deal with your ability to, uh... Or wait, what is all this? A uh, kind of snag, why is it showing like this? Whatever, it's just at the bottom that we're looking at. So we won that, we won that, two game win streak. Look how grayed out it is that you can't even see that shit. Or we still have like all the football stuff for the background and the normal piece set, but we don't get to see it here because... Um... Whatever, these variants are in their own world. Although I guess you could still mess around with the pieces, probably. Right, but so many of them have their own shit. Player colors, dark square colors, I, I don't really mind the cosmetics too much, but I do always like that on the chest, and we'll be able to go back to that, where we get to use, like, custom piece sets and all these weird ones. Star Wars, Binding of Isaac, this and that. Yeah, let's go a couple more with this one. We got a taste of both white and black. The so black has a material disadvantage, but it has a nine... Oh, I, I think I get it. If you win as, maybe you have to check black 99 times, but you have to do uh, white only 28 times maybe to make it fair, something like that. It just feels so random, doesn't it? So they just put their king in kind of a weird, bad spot. This is like an inactive, inert pawn that's not going to have much relevance. So you can go like this 
I kind of want to trap the queen, trap the thing when you do that. Trap the uh, knight, I mean. So this you gotta cover, this you can attack. You have that cute little thing, let me try it like this. Go like this, but it's covered anyway, so that doesn't really matter. But it means you get taken there, you need a cover there, and then you get to really just put a pawn here and put something there. And you'd be in pretty excellent shape. Right, put something here, like a pawn itself. Or wait, why? Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put it like there. Look how easy it is to trap the knight even out of the fucking opening. Like, what a clown show shit. So now, if you go there, would be the only question, which means you have to... Putting that kind of on the wrong side of the board, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't entirely like that. Maybe I'm too obsessed with trying to trap the stupid ass thing. But now we're going to put this in for the final thing. So our whole opening setup is based around the fact of trapping the stupid ass knight. Because it's just such a shitty piece. So you can't go there, you can't go there, you can't go there. Like that's really why I put the rook there too. Whereas normally you would think why the fuck are you doing that? We've already metagamed it to that extent. So the knight is objectively already trapped. You could get like two pawns for it. I guess take, take, take. And in fact, you're already posing the little mate there. So, I mean, even if you worry about the knight, you get to basically do this, if I'm not mistaken. What the fuck is going on with the game, dude? But yeah, I'll take the easy wins, because then sometimes you'll get clown, but... This one is bizarre, dude. I, I love how different some of these are. It's just so not even consistent like that's the one advantage the regular chess has or a lot of these is like it could be random whatever you have but it's equally random like even 960 you both have the same position so you can't complain except the white has an objective advantage but in this case white and black are totally different so you could easily see that there's a completely objective advantage at play so you have this one which does still double attack it. And then you get to... Um, this is a, maybe a little bit dangerous, or in fact, I don't know what the deal with the pawns and shit are. We'll kind of maybe do a similar setup to what we did before, where we get to... Oh, you can't even get it that way. No, that's not going to work, is it? I'm going to get kind of cocky and fuck something up. Uh, the whole point is that we want to trap the stupid ass knight. And the way that you trap the stupid ass knight is you get to put a couple pawns down. I'm going to become too fixated on trying to do that. We have to cover this dinky fucker here. It's already under attack. You can't go there. You can't go there. You can't go there. Like, look how easy it is to do it, too. So now you go like this. And then you go like this, maybe still. I see a bishop and a rook, so I'm at a material disadvantage that I don't like. I'm giving them peace odds because I'm so good, I guess. Or we kind of fucked it up. But they kind of accept the fact that they lose that. In the early game now, we go to here, they go to there. It doesn't exactly solve the thing. They bring it to there, this can't be taken. This can just try to go right into there. <clears throat> now, this should still be mate, if I'm not mistaken, because there's nowhere you can go that isn't gonna still be the same thing. So maybe these people are just really bad or they're getting overwhelmed by the fact of how this one works, I don't really know. For now it's gonna be the same people maybe that are farming, but maybe I'm not even entirely realizing it. Now you go to here, I guess, although you could easily cover it. That's maybe not the best position to even put it in. 
this one tends to be very good for the queen. And then you get, that's usually the wrong place to put the rook by any measure though. But I do like this whole prospect of trying to, uh, I do like the whole prospect of basically trying to do it in such a way that you get to trap the thing, but it doesn't actually work because you can go here. Now they're being all paranoid about this. Right, but whatever. Let's see what they got. They put it there. It'd be pretty much the same thing, though. Nothing you should be able to do. Or like if you do this. I don't know. I don't kind of just bully shit around. You can take there, but then I'll take. Okay, okay, dude. Okay. And when you're in such a bad. Okay. See how easily it can go. Just. It goes from me making obvious mistakes to them making obvious mistakes. Like now I get to complain a little bit. How is this material situation fair? Because everything is all fucked up. Which way are we even looking? Like this should be takeable. Because you can't do anything. But why would I even want to do that, I guess? Oh, shit, I almost just took that, too. I'm not really sure what's happening, and... That was just a big fuck-up because I gave up the rook. Just too fixated on the thing. On trying to, uh... You fixated on the actual ability to try to trap the knight. Now you try to bring it up to here, I guess. And if you can do that, then you can't actually take, but it doesn't actually do a ton for me either. These pawns are going to be virtually impossible to break through. And the reason why is because I don't have any fucking pawns myself. So... They're not making any effort to really do anything when it comes to, you know, pressing their own attack or opening this shit up. That thing they could have done, I guess, anyway. But what you can do now, you have this dinky fucker there. You would have this into a good attack onto there, but I don't have any material left, so it's very difficult. They would have to give 99 checks, and I maybe would have to give 28, even though it doesn't even say that very clearly, if that was the case. Now, if you take, I take. You knew that was going to happen. It's fine. Will it start the counter now, or what, dude? You take, I take. If not, I can give a dinky check here. And I could open up all kinds of shit, or I could still do this, I guess. This is at least blocking the one check thing that you have here. With respect to... You try to do that, but I can't do it yet. Or now you can do this, because even if you push, it doesn't matter, right? I could always move it again. If you push this, I could take. If you push this, I could just move. I'm not really sure what this is going to boil down to exactly, but... You could do it to here, and the reason why is because now you can take this, and actually there's no mathematical way you can cover it, so... Uh. You are going to lose that, and you are going to potentially lose it into the rook as well. And so the dynamic nature of the queen's ability to give a check and stuff would be cute. For sure. If you take, I take... If you... Oh, that's, that is a move, dude. That is a move, bruh. What is that move, bro? What is that move? Now, you still can't really double attack it, so it's okay, but I have to consider it like this, maybe. 
What the fuck was that? Now you can move the stupid ass rook. I could maybe do this. You could maybe do this. That might be a little greedy and unnecessary that I shouldn't even bother trying to do that shit, but it is a case where you'll go to there and there's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, There's nothing really I care to do. I can go like this, maybe. You got the light square already covered. Here, you could bring the queen. You could basically do whatever you want, which is why I don't like this situation. Right, you can just do whatever the fuck you want now. You go to here, I can take. You go to here, I can't take. The queen's gonna be gone, and then I don't understand. You can, okay, okay, dude. I don't always lose, but when I do, I 100% certainly beat myself. No, at some point, regardless of the check, man, I don't even get what was happening with the material thing there either. Like, what would have happened if I, you know, traded queen, wait, what? Oh, uh, this thing keeps changing. What would have happened if I traded queens? Like, I don't get it. So every one of my wins was super easy, and then this one I just... This is literally how, how chess works, too, just in case you realize. If you really care enough, you'll never lose a game unless it's somebody 500 points high or something. In any mode, even, but especially regular chess, it's like... When you win, they just blunder something super obvious, like mate and one on, like, fucking turn three. And then when you lose, you just get, hang a rook at the beginning, like... That's all it is. Like, not even low-rated chess, just like, this is just how it works, dude. If you actually just think a little bit, it's fine. So what I don't get here, though, is the simple ability to, you know, even if it didn't go that way, right, how do I win now, though? That's the thing. How do I win? It's already over. It's already over because... What the fuck do I have? Like, I can't give... That's so weird. Right? Like, hmm. It seems to give the illusion of balance. I'm not going to use that as an excuse either, obviously. But it's just like... Look how quickly we did that, too. Right? Because, like, three of them were just, like, somebody giving up a mate and one, like, super quickly without any reason. What's interesting about playing WoW alongside this is that... That's like two lifelong addictions, one, you know, switching one for the other, but it might be that this, that chess overall, if you combine all forms, all formats, all sites that I played on over the years, my whole life, it probably could be closing in on WoW as the most played game ever, because even with WoW, you'd have to include all kind of other expansions. It wouldn't just be vanilla, you know, vanilla plus the re-release of vanilla plus BC originally plus Wrath originally. That's like at least a hundred plus days like what, 24 times 100, you know, 2400 hours, probably more than that. If you look at this, um, or no, it won't be on here, it'll be on like on my LeChess. But if you were to look at that, it's at least like, I don't know. What comes up when you look at my name anyway? My Twitch, my YouTube, my LeChess, my DeviantArt. Let's look at my DeviantArt. Uh, that's my other channel. I have like too many channels now, but it, you know, that's more for spam uploads. Like I try to separate them. I don't know why I'm not really still in the provisional question mark thing because I haven't played in like a month, uh, 23 days. I guess that's still light work compared to, you know, oh, a hundred days plus that I'm seeing easily with wow, but it's getting up there for sure. Like, is that really a necessary amount that it should be like, really? What do people say? Okay. How much time to become a grand master? Like, what would people say? 12,004. Okay, so how many days is that? Uh, like 12,000 divided by 24. You're saying that it would take about, according to this measure, right? Just random Google search, whatever. It would take you about 500 days to reach grandmaster level so i've not even played 10 percent of that so i'm not saying i could do it but i'm just saying imagine me doing that imagine me for players who start under 10 it doesn't really matter about that it just matters about 
How many hours a week? Probably. 169. Why is he saying 69, bro? But yeah, this is a little random thing I made just to sort of preserve some of my art, even though a lot of it's not even on here. I was using a lot of it during that permadeath, uh, or I might have to continue doing that still. Or I went to my uh, thumbnails. Let's see which ones have a lot of likes. That has two likes. This has three likes. This has two likes. This has one, three, one. This one is kind of deserves more. Three, four. That might be the most. One, zero, zero, two, two, two. So many of these are just like for other formats and stuff too. One, like. You know, some of these are just for games that I was doing, but this is a format, right? Like a debate format type of thing. This is like a movie format. This is like debate format. Whatever. So, and I, I like that little RP line too. That is clearly, you know, part of my whole Dark Souls 2 thing that I was doing. A soul of fire never dims for his candle as well, because he has a heart of fire, as do we, basically, is the whole analogy that you're making. Like, this is so. There's so much depth to this shit, dude. I don't know, like sometimes I feel like I do things that nobody really can fathom or appreciate. Uh, this is obviously I'll tell the whole story with like how you're using the two. This thing prevents you from getting one shot by the, by the cars. They give you like an asthma attack. This thing prevents you from getting one shot by the thing from the bar bot, right? Like, so you're stuck between two very undesirable things and you manage to finally overcome them. This is just obviously showing bias, and then that's fine. This thing is kind of just very rough, but whatever, dude. All right, so let's look at what the next variant's gonna be because I think I lost the last one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, wait, what? Wait, why do I have to type in username when? Tataranga only 179. Like what? I played 179 games or what? Counter turn. So I just lost that. Uh, this one was very confusing. <sighs> like we, it, it seems this one's actually one of the telltale textbook ones for like imbalance, right? Regardless of who you think has an advantage, white st starts out with way more material, black has way less. Uh, you have to give like 28 to 99 checks, which I don't know what that even means really this the black has to get checked 99 times the white has to get checked only 28 times maybe something like that But no, it, it's one that shows you it starts off clearly at an imbalance because you couldn't Even with the 19 points you have you couldn't recreate that board that they have right you mathematically can't do it Because you would need like, you know, one two three four five six pawns and then this and then that, and it just wouldn't be enough. 9, 12, uh, you wouldn't be able to make the rook. Like, you just can't do it. So white is at an even more objective advantage than it normally is, like, just in the regular game. I feel like I fucked up the archive. Somehow, it was doing it before better. Uh... But whatever we did caught in a snag we did counter turn so again all these ones we got to make sure we obviously haven't done before and then maybe not ever before but it's part of this particular gauntlet format at least so now you have uh oh yeah i think we were a uh, crazy cavalier which i'm pretty positive i didn't do this this is like my karma as a knight hater who always shits all over the knights Right, where they're objectively worse than bishops. So you have every kind of knight imaginable, including even the camel, which is not really a knight. They even put the little baby knight on the camel's back, if you can see that. That one almost shouldn't be there, because every single other one is actually some sort of hybrid knight. So you have a lot of the Zhang Ji movement ones, the one with the crazy hairdo, like in the front row. You have a camel, which is, seems like you could probably move like a camel or a knight, right, would be the implication. So the first row is the Zhang Ji ones, which are really shitty and hard to figure out. Then you have the Rook one, which is actually pretty good. You have the Knight plus Knight, which I don't know what that means. It can move like twice the length of a Knight. You have the Bishop one is good. The King one is good, although it's interesting to think. You have the King and then you have the Royal King, which both move like the King and the Knight. Then you have the Bishop, then you have the Knight, Knight, and then you have the Rook. 
So I'm pretty positive I didn't do this one, but custom position, crazy cavalier. Oh, not cra you don't need crazy house on top. of This is where they take it too far. Like, let's just play this one without crazy house. How about that? Like, it's so dumb. Pawns promote to chancellor, archbishop, general, knight, rider, queen, kangaroo horse, or no, not kangaroo, Zhang Ji horse, or wildebeest. Um, <laughs> some of this shit is fucking wild. Uh, you could do it in such a way that, like, yeah, just disable crazy house, but if that's the default mode, like, will it go back if I non crazy, crazy cavalier? Wait, what? Oh, I mean, that's why it's called that, but... How does it know? That's such a weird thing. It knows that I disabled that specifically. Like, what will it say? Will it say... Oh, this is so cool, though, dude. And again, people will join this because they seem to join just whatever the fuck you do because whatever's in the lobby, they'll be desperate to play because this, you know, this site is active, but it's also very confusing because... This whole part of the site is like so, sort of underpopulated. 72 games, 900 players. So after a while, you're going to end up seeing the same players over and over too, but that's okay. We can either farm them or get farmed by them. So this one is fucking wild, right? Like there's too much, you know, it would be enough without the crazy house. I'll just put it that way. Can't we just play this without, you know, you might say, why not just disable it? But I don't want to because... You know, I want to do the authentic one that it's telling me. Yeah, this is fucking insane, and it's my genuine karma and punishment for... Um... For how much I, you know, always shit all over and criticize horses, because... It's just too much. <laughs> right, a horse hater finds themselves in a hairy purgatory. So this thing can go any of those three squares. So if I just create some sort of structure like this, it should be fine. And you might think it's reinforced by that, but it's really not. And so, like, explain to me the difference in these two movement patterns. This one can't move, even though it has an opening there, opening there. This one can move, so it has to be able to go straight and then diagonal or something. Um, the camel can go basically either as a knight or a camel. This thing is weird. I don't know what the knight knight is. It can double. Oh, wow. It can move like a double knight. This is kind of putting on its face like the whole randomness element of like, uh... The whole randomness of, uh, you know, oh, why can't a knight just move some other random way? Because it's already weird how it works, but... So now, I always assume that that's gonna hit it. I would take, they would take... My camel would take back. It's gonna be impossible to calculate for the other knights, like... Oh my god. Would it be able to go there? I don't even understand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It shouldn't really be able to. They would take, I would take, then if they take, I take with the camel, I think. What you really got to take advantage of is the best piece still in terms of the diagonal, right? Especially on a bigger board. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by one, two, three, four, whatever. It's, it's big. You could take there and what do you take back with is the question. You take back like with the camel or something. So now you get to... This first row, you almost just want to get out of the way at some point, but you could do it like this. So you're still covering. So... And I'm still double covering there. Do you take? If they take, I take with the camel. Um, not that these are even really that valuable, but... Oh yeah, I am forgetting about the crazy house element as well. But now you should be forking them, but it's not going to be covered. <clears throat> so now you're double attacking them. In such a way that is kind of annoying. And the reason why it's annoying is because of the simple fact that there's no real way to cover it, which is kind of hard to believe that there wouldn't be. Um, I'm not actually sure. So 
there's no clear path. So let me, let me just go here and I don't even know why I'm doing it. But it's partly just to open the light square diagonal itself because you're kind of too claustrophobic and stuck between these. I don't even value the camel that much. But it still moves smoother than what you normally have here. So anywhere that you go, you are going to get hit by a knight in some form. Right, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Or I guess you wouldn't get hit by it. No, 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 you would. You wouldn't even necessarily want to do this, but... You want to give yourself at least the option to get out of there for now. You got to watch some of these long moving knights though, basically, because the camel is going to be a long move. And so is the actual thing. The, uh, see now maybe that one can't cover it, but obviously the pawn can. Do you have the simple ability to try to get as many of these out as possible? Or in particular, you want to do this one because you have, uh, I, don't know, I just want to get the diagonals kind of going and you can always switch the diagonals around so we already have like two of the same diagonal which i don't really want you have a lot of night action going on which is fine with me but you always are going to be able to take back so even if they go here i would take they would take i would take they would take i could still take again you go here you are gonna have enough diagonals to make this happen and you do have a queen so like how is this all a knight that queen almost shouldn't be there then or it should be a queen knight combination or like the rook in the knight is good enough for that i would take shouldn't they not even oh i can't even do it for some inexplicable reason it's like you always have to be able to move up front first before you do anything else you go to here and it's not it is covered so if they take, I take back, and you're also attacking, double attacking. I would take, they would take. I mean, I'm just going to take. Now, this is not the greatest spot to be in, to be truthful with you. Right, because this thing is going to get all kinds of fucked up. So it's still covered by the stupid ass camel. You can give a check to here, and all you could really do is block. So you might even be a little limited in your options. No, nah, not really. Um, I can move that back anytime I want. So I want to figure out something for the rest of these. Like, I kind of want a dark square diagonal, so maybe this is a good idea. Yeah, these Zhang Zhi horses just get in the fucking way, honestly. But they are effectively like a second layer of pawns, just a step above the pawn. We go ahead, we take there. I don't care what little nuance, or we're, what we're forgetting is the crazy house. Like, why can't I just do it? I can just put it down right now and just fucking... Well, there's too many things I can counter it, obviously, but like, even this could mate you. That's how simple it is. This could literally mate you if you just had, like, a simple cover there. Like, I'm not going to do it right now, but what if I just go, like, here, and then you get to... It could literally be as simple as that, though. Right. Th this is like a shogi-type mechanic or something. If you put this in front of the king, it's actually mate. Or you actually win the... You know, you have too much stuff there now. But if there's nothing there, that's all it takes to actually mate you. Which is kind of hard to believe, but that's the weird nature of Crazy House that can happen. Where you're basically able to... Well... It's not going to happen, but. You go to there, I can easily take back. So the only thing I'm wondering is what is the point of all this, but. I'm more than happy to keep doing that forever. So like. They're going to keep putting these stupid ass pawns. I guess I have to at least try to match it. not like we don't have enough cover. Th this crazy house element just takes it way too far. I can barely handle this many knights as it is. What a nightmare of a variant. I guess I'm trusting the Zhang Ji knight a little too much. But it's still maybe worth it, but I mean... It's gonna be all kind of weird shit that he can do. You could even just take this, couldn't you? 
you can go to here and actually give a check on the stupid ass thing which would allow you to do a number of things which I don't really want to even allow you to do I don't know. <sighs> so all you need is like one cover in the vicinity of the king, right? And that can always be trouble, but of course, you're not giving them that really. And so, I mean, you can put it anywhere that you fucking want, even apparently off the board. Maybe it's something with my board size, but I actually don't mind the way this looks. So that's interesting. But the thing is, you don't really have to do anything because you can just move it. Now the worst case, yeah, you just have to sack something. Which is not the end of the world because of the simple fact that the camel thing is nice, but it's not that great, like... You can go back to here yet again. And this thing is not actually covered, or is it covered? I forget how the camel moves. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, no, it's still covered in some way by that, I guess. I'm kind of just obsessing over this particular cover, but they're not going to give it up because of that. I mean, it's kind of like the ultimate counterplay sort of thing. And the reason why is because... The reason why is because of the simple fact that, you know, everything you're summoning is going to be a knight and you're going to be able to be covered and etc. by a knight. So everything is about just the knight. So nothing is, oh, I misclicked. Uh, nothing is going to, nothing is going to actually not be able to be taken. I mean, that's unfortunate, but it does count. It absolutely counts. It's fine, bro. It's fine. He put so much time effort. He was doing well anyway, so I'm not saying that I was going to win, but... I don't know what to tell you. Like, that's so fucking stupid. You could maybe still get some sort of cheeky mate that would just be very unexpected. You're going to put some crazy shit down because now you just simply have too much cover is the thing. They would take, I would take, they would still take. Alright, this in itself is like a protected fork, so I don't really want to do that. Now they're going to put some crazy thing down, like the Jang G horse. That's the one cool thing about these, is they can actually switch diagonals as much as they want. And the reason why is because of the simple fact that... You know, when you combine the knight's ability to switch colors... Right, with the bishop. That can sometimes be a bad thing too, though. You don't want the same color thing, but... That's gonna attack under there, and I don't really want to let that happen. And I don't know about the movement of the Zhang Ji thing, so I'm not gonna worry about it. This is back up for now. If it wasn't for blundering the queen, I would have been fine. Or I'm actually pretty low on time, too. But that is unfortunate. I was just a legitimate misclick. There's nothing I could do about it. You don't even need a cover for that, really. Because you can just harass the horse as much as you want. He goes back, we could go to here, they would take, I would take, okay fine. They're gonna have too much shit out here anyway. This one is very tough to get into, but again, if I didn't blunder the queen, maybe I could draw it or do something. I don't know how it's gonna really measure the 
the wind condition and stuff here anyway. Whatever they take with would still be effectively a trade, although you can't cover that, so I don't know. Or, like, now you can exactly as planned. Their king is looking a little open. It's not like you don't have enough material to do an attack. So offensive-minded players would always have their way sometimes with this because of the simple fact that you get to do that. But you should be able to do this, I guess. You could do a little dinky fork here too. Protected fork. They would take, I would take... You'd have to do some absolutely bonkers crazy threat in order to do this because you get to... You'd need a cover for that, which I don't really understand. Um... Or no, I mean, you already are covered, but... Let's try to get material out here now. I don't know what's going to be the thing. You can't really castle. You can take this. I don't know what you can do with the J and G thing. You're attacking onto there, which you at least have to address that. Right, which is a legitimate question. And then you have to... You have to consider the fact of being able to basically... Bring out the thing and try to just wreak some havoc here quickly. Because I both... I'm out of time, and I'm out of material. Again, the queen thing was just dumb. I can't do that, apparently, and I don't know if it's even attacking me or not. If you do that, that's fine. I don't understand how that piece moves anyway, so... I'm not gonna blame that for my failure. All right, so, oh no, it's pinned down, but it doesn't matter, because you still get to... It's still covered. You take I or wait. Oops. Uh, I don't know what happened. The crazy house thing is too much, bro. Like, I could barely handle this shit on its own. Like, I don't know what, what the fuck you expect. Or we're gonna get forked by, like, the dinky fucker. The, uh... You gotta fork him with the camel and shit. Yeah, look how fast and confident and all this shit I am. Now you go over to here and you get to... Uh, I don't know. You bring the queen. I'm not going to give this person too much credit because what you... Oh, shit. Did they actually blunder their queen back, though? But it's just not going to be enough time. No or wait, how did... Okay. Uh, look, man. The crazy house element on top of that is a little bit too much for me to handle, so it's fine. Ross Derby. Race your knights and pawns towards the trapped king. Claim the central flank and space your space with your pawns. Keep an eye out for your king with maximally with it being maximally vulnerable and enclosed. Pawns promote to a knight on the eighth rank. Checkmate man, these are the ones all have to do with knights now. I'm in a fucking purgatory. Uh checkmate or stalemate to win the game. Yeah, stalemate would be easier given the fucking knight's presence. Um you have the ability to do what exactly? Like, you can't target it there because you have to, or maybe you can target it from here. Right, like from here or here would be a check, I guess. One, two, three. Uh, and so you're basically in a position to... We'll try it, I guess, once. You're basically in a position where it's very confusing because you get to have too many knights. So you have one that's already off the board. Okay, let's see what we can do. The pawns are going to turn out to be your best, most valuable piece. If you raise this, I take. This is interesting, though. I, I like the ones that are sort of minimalistic, right? There is no other crazy shit going on, so it's very much to the point. That's maybe not even the best trade position to be in, but you take, take. You try to go like this. If you raise it, I can't do anything.
So where would you have to be to do that is the question. And the answer is I don't really know. This is in itself bad because you'd be forced to double stack it in such a way that you don't really even want to do it. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. Right, so I've already messed up in a way that I already knew and was already obvious, but maybe it's okay. We'll go ahead, we'll try to clear these off the back rank. I'm forgetting about the one that's even on the other side, but... It's the one thing that you always realize with knights, though, is it's easy to trap them because they're always such a liability of a piece. So that part you can always consider. And now you can try to bring this in here. I love this whole thing of them just being off the board. That's where they belong. That's my favorite preferred position. So we both got them all there. They're not even up a piece. They're just up. A, in fact, I'm up a piece. <laughs> but the trade-off being the pass pawn. Now, if you think about it, the knights can't really come through in a very convincing way. Right? They're all sort of limited. This one is covered by this, I'm pretty sure, right? There's nothing that should be stopping that. So you have the ability to try to take this one now. This one seems like a weak link. You go to there, and so a simple trade can occur, leading to some other problem. So if you go there, it doesn't bother me. If you go there, it doesn't bother me. You could take here and be threatening another take. If you bring it to here, I could I could take again though. Isn't that just a blunder? I could just take again. What? 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 Okay, okay. Look, man. Once again, losing to the basic mechanic. Like I'm, of course. Like nobody could just actually make a mistake. Everybody's an expert on every single one of these. Like nobody could just be doing it for the first time and not know what they're doing. Like me. Even though I'm the one who's asking for it and whatever. Why is this not... Why is this not accurate at all? Not showing any of this. Counter turn is the last thing it's showing. Uh, let me see. Let's see, Chaturanga only one day. Crazy Cavalier and Cross Derby. Is that all I did? It couldn't be. Because didn't I just lose her way? Oh, maybe that is accurate, actually. But then it won't show it in the right order. Okay, counter turn we had done, and then we lost. Then we played Crazy Cavalier, we lost. We played Cross Derby, we lost. So the whole thing with this one is that... My position was good, but yeah, I love that. It couldn't be that they blunder a piece in this mode that, you know, nobody knows really what's going on. It must just be that, so the mating positions are there and there, like I already previously identified. This one wouldn't do anything. This one wouldn't do anything. Right. This one wouldn't seem to do anything. It was those two squares out of the wind condition. Actually, that one I like quite a bit, though. Right, it has such a simplistic nature, but it can still be fun. So that the pawns do promote, but they just become another knight. Okay, see you tomorrow.